好像要求什么，他有做到。那六十三 N， 六十三 N 这个路线的车给很多人都方便。Uh, she work hard. She do her round. She meet people. She connect with people. She gives moral support towards our Indian community, and she supports us in our religious and festival events. She comes down and she um, talks to everyone and mingles with everyone. So I think that's very sweet and nice of her. We want to make sure that everyone feels that they have a stake in our community and that it is a home which they can look forward to. Well, I've always been passionate about elderly causes, young families, children, as well as more recent times, Smart Nation. For elderly especially, it has been an issue very close to my heart. First and foremost, on a more personal front, my parents are aging. And so I can observe firsthand what are some of the issues that may concern them and therefore will help bridge this gap. So within MacPherson, we have uh, recently launched this app called the MacPherson Care App. This app is a platform through which we hope that we can provide information to elderly, to our seniors, and hopefully to the broader community on what is available in MacPherson. Well, one of our aspirations is to rejuvenate MacPherson. We have a huge heritage, but we want to also help make MacPherson a young and vibrant one as well. So we have live bands, for example, uh, casual Fridays, casual Saturdays. So when the first Zika case uh, broke out in MacPherson and Alginate Crescent, uh, we were all very concerned, especially back then when we understand from the news that uh, Zika affects uh, pregnant ladies the most because of the vulnerabilities of the uh, fetus. And so we did house-to-house -house visit. Uh, we asked the families whether there are pregnant ladies, could we you know, uh, get in touch with them so that we can uh, disseminate information on a very timely basis and of course in terms of uh, the mosquito repellent and other resource that we could offer uh, we want to also be able to provide to them uh, on the first instance. Three years ago I was pregnant so it was exactly during Zika period and at that time that person was classified as the I think the red zone for Zika. At that time Tim Peling and her team actually came to my house to check how, how I was doing you know, during my confinement. Over the past few years, I have been very privileged to be able to serve in McPherson. The relationship, the bonds, the friendships that we have forged, and, and for some of them, I think it's beyond friendship. I think these are what I would really cherish and I want to continue to build on. I don't want to disappoint them and I want to make sure that as long as they are within McPherson, I will do my best together with my team to care for them. I'm Tim Pei Ling. Please support me.